so here we are. I'm going to give you five options for adding a little bit of extra flair to your lateral. Now, there are lots of options for lateral styling, but many of them don't maintain the two step one, two, replace orientation. Okay, so there are lots of options which come from the S with a sweep, like all sorts of things you can do. But in, the, in those ones, you're only going to be taking the width of one step instead of the two that we would normally expect in a lateral. One, two, replace. Uh, so I'm going to show you five options to maintain that width of step, which is what your leader is going to expect if uh, they are just leading a regular lateral. Now you should already know that the golden rule with styling is not to interfere with the lead. You know, I think leaders don't mind too much if you're trying something cute or if something looks cool. You know, maybe sometimes it makes them feel good. But we want to try and we want to try to train so that we're able to do our styling without putting pressure down, without pulling, without interfering. Okay. So number one, this is a really popular one. You would have seen it a lot and I use it quite a lot as well. It tends to come really naturally with fun, um, upbeat music. It doesn't really work with flowy kind of music. So that one is going to be the flick. So we take the first step, second step. As we pivot round, flick. Flick and then replace. So it goes one, two, flick and three. And ba, ba, da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Okay, so the trick here is to make sure that on your first step's normal, second step's normal, but you have to pivot round as you flick. So it's just huh, this foot is doing this while this one is flicking up. I'll tell you why you don't do it, do the flick early. Because if you go here and you try and flick, you're gonna get your calf. <laughs> The pain is real, people. So, this is how we learn from our mistakes. Make sure you twist and flick so that you make space for the heel in the front and not catch yourself. It hurts. So that's your flick. Notice the timing. If we're doing one, two, and three, four, and we go one, two, and three. So it's a little advancement, one and two and. So I take that second step a fraction early so that we can flick on the count. One, up two and three, up four and. So the flick is on the four, the flick is on the chick. Could be boom, a chick, chick, boom, a chick, chick. The reason we need to do that is because we have to place that foot down on the second chick or on the end, otherwise we're going to be behind. So if we were to go one, two, it's, got, it's really hard to get it in time. So there is your flick. Number two is a slide. I don't think I've seen this one, but it's something that I came up with. So we go, take our normal long step. Ba -da -ba. So the timing is the same as the flick, but instead of flicking, we're sliding in the, the middle, the, like the arch of the foot, just near the heel goes to the ankle and then place it down for your grounded step. So three, a four, and one, a two, and three, a four, and one, a two, and three, a four, and. So you're always ending up where the leader expects you to by that second chick. Make sure you use the floor. Pull really hard with that foot along the floor to make it look strong. Uh -huh. Step as you pivot, slide. So same as the flick, pivot and slide happens together and then place onto that foot. So I call that the slide. Then we have the booty to demonstrate. But roll and da, roll and. This is quite sexy, looks good in some songs that have a little more flow. This movement, all it is, is a hip to the side, roll round the back, 
sucked to straight. So there's no full circle happening. It's an illusion and that illusion is created by the rotation. So we take one step. On the second step, send that hip out to the side. Huh? And then as you, as you transfer, take it round to the back. So now it's at the back. And then as you ground on that second chick, suck it up to straight. So you don't want to be going one all the way around the front because it looks weird. So we just take it to the side, back, straight. Boom, side, back, straight. And then sucking it up here is really important because if we've sent all that weight out the back, we don't want to end up transferring in that same shape. Got to suck it back to straight for that second chick, the grounded step. Ba, ba, da, suck, ba, hip, and suck. Nice, that's number th three. Number four, let me check. Number four, it's a flick again, but we're gonna flick out the back. So one, da, flick, and da, 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 da. So same timing as a flick in front, but now it flicks behind. Now you wanna try and make sure that when you flick, you're getting your calf to your calf, to the back of your knee, so that you're keeping your feet in close to your body, not out the back where you could kick somebody else on the dance floor. In all of these styling ones where you're lifting your heels, make sure you're really aware of everything that's going on on the dance floor. Add a little look. It can be cute. And with the bonus of checking to make sure it's safe for you, you're going to lift your heel up. Same timing as the flick at the front. Make sure you get that pivot, the pivot with the flick. That's number four. Number five is a little bit of a, adds a little bit of a swirl. So I feel like it's, I've never done tango because I don't have tango classes where I live, but I think this is tango derived. We're going to sweep and sweep and place. So we take our two steps, but then as we pivot around, we sweep, sweep behind and place. Long step. Second step, sweep as we pivot, bring it behind and place. One, a sweep and three, a four and five, a six and seven, a eight and. Uh -huh. So the orientation on the floor, sweep around behind till you get behind your body. Then bring it in close to get that calf to knee and then slide it close to your body and present. So try, uh, once the foot leaves, the once it, we've got the foot on the floor for as long as you can, once it leaves the floor, bring the foot in close to your body so you know where it is, <laughs> you're in control of it, it's in your space, and then present to go for your next step. The less time that your foot can spend up in the air, the better. So notice I try and keep it on the floor for as long as I can before I bring it into my body and then send it back to the floor rather than having it up in the air for too long and you start to look like a dog doing a pee. Not so good. That's it. Five options for your lateral styling. I have more that I will deliver to you in the near future that come from the S. Some little cutesy ones. We'll do some more that are, are with flat shoes because that's a whole nother kettle of fish is to do some fun styling using flat shoes. So that is all going to be coming to this channel in the near future. But for now, let's practice with music as usual. Okay, so let's practice that lateral styling with some music. We're going to start without the music just to get the feel of the footwork. So start with your normal lateral. Understand where you would be in space so that then when you add the variations, you're still in that place in space. So let's start with a flick, pivot, flick, back, da, da. 
Now let's try and speed it up. And now you wouldn't normally do it over and over, both sides. So you might want to just put a couple of laterals and then you accent where the music wants it. Let's move on. Let's do our slide step, long step, slide together as you pivot. Boom. A chick, chick, boom. You want to practice these so much that they just come out of your body when you're dancing. Let's speed this one up and then move on. to do all the time. Now the booty, back, side back, straight, slowly, side back, straight, boom, chick, 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 Let's speed it up. Watch your posture, you don't end up forward, which is something that sometimes happens to me. Tuck back up through the core. All right, let's go the flick behind, step, pivot, flick behind, step. So your kick, roll down your line, not out the back. Not out the back that way. Speed it up. Look Come back to your leader and be like, yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> That's not cool at all. <laughs> Just a little raise of the eyebrows is good, I think. Final one with its sweep. Step, step, sweep, and point. Make sure you bend into this knee. Make sure you allow the sweep to happen. Speed it up. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that one might be for a really slow song. Or just when the leader maybe gives you time. Or maybe just one every now and then. And you can whew, do it in time and catch up. There you go, that's my five. Enjoy. That was one and a half songs. Probably need one song for each one. Working on it slow, building up to speed. Thank you once again. Bye.